if I'm tracking here, um, because I was, I was actually about to ask you, you know, as someone who's never been a cancer biologist, I never studied cancer biology per se, but as someone who was always in biology, you know, I remember as a student sort of just having the notion in my mind, oh, cancer is from mutation. You get X number of mutations in tumor suppressor genes or whatever, and then the normal cell becomes a cancer cell and off you go. If I'm following you, Tim, what you're basically saying is, yes, there are these mutations involved in, in creating cancer cells. But normally, I mean, there's so many cells in the body getting so many mutations every single day that all of us at some rate is generating, you know, cancer cells. And oftentimes, more often than not, when things are working appropriately, uh, our body takes care of that. Those, those cells are detected and they are destroyed and, and the immune system is involved in that. It sounds like what you're saying, Tim, is that if you're in a certain inflammatory state, if you have chronic inflammation or, or what have you, then immune surveillance can actually be sort of turned down such that the probability that any one of those cancer cells that would have very likely been destroyed before it became full-blown cancer and problematic actually doesn't get destroyed. And so uh, even though mutations are necessary to generate a cancer cell, the, the inflammatory state of the tissue can also dictate sort of the probability of, of whether or not that cancer cell will actually be handled when it, when it should be.